Hello, comrades, and welcome back to Ushanka Show. Здравствуйте, дорогие товарищи. В эфире программа Ushanka Show. For those who don't know me, my name is Sergey, and I was born in the USSR. As we used to say, SSSR. Today I'll try to answer some popular questions I get all the time. And actually, it's not like answering the questions, more like I'll share my thoughts, because you can't really answer those questions. Questions like... Do you miss the USSR? Do you feel bad or sorry that the USSR collapsed? Do you want to be back in the USSR? And similar questions. And when I say no, I don't miss the USSR. No, I really don't want it back. Quite a few people get upset and then they provide me links to all this information about like 60% of uh, Russians right now want Soviet Union to return. Even young generation, 40%, would like to live in the Soviet Union. So today I want to try to touch this topic and talk about it. Of course, there are some things that I miss about the Soviet Union. But it's like, I miss my parents being young. I miss my grandparents that passed away in the early 80s. I miss myself being a kid and had no worries and stuff like that. And you need to remember that my situation is kind of unique. The reason I'm in America is because the Soviet Union collapsed. If the Soviet Union still existed, there is no way I would be able to travel to the United States, meet my future wife, and settle down in Michigan. So for people who are still back in Russia, Ukraine, they have a different perception. For me, that was my way out. So why do some people still miss the USSR? Probably the first guess will be they miss their youth. You know, they used to be young, energetic, they can work all day, they could party all night. You know, they had firm bodies, girls like them or boys like them. So that could be the first reason that people don't realize that they miss actually their youth versus they miss the Soviet Union. You know, it's like some people, and it blows my mind, they love the old cars and usually... That's the car that they used to own when they were teenagers. Like, it's my very first car. It was my very first kiss and maybe even something more intense in the back seat. So when they turn 50 or 60, they want to buy that specific car, that model. And despite the fact it's old, it's nowhere close to the modern cars. They love it. They like to drive it around because it brings those sweet memories of their young years. It's like I just read an article in the Wall Street Journal about an American guy who has 25 1966 model year Buick Skylark Grand Sport. I think it's a pretty ugly car, but that was his very first car. And now that he has some money, he just buys that specific year, just that 1966 in different colors. And that's all he wants, and he just loves it. Reason number two our memory. We tend to forget all the bad stuff and remember good stuff. I, I experienced that just recently with my own son. For many years, instead of reading him a book before he goes to bed, I would just share my stories, just like I share my stories with you guys now on YouTube about my life in Ukraine, and especially about my good old days as a kid in the village when I lived with my grandparents and went fishing and especially mushroom hunting so he loved the, my son loved the stories about mushroom hunting and he was very very excited to go with me finally when we came to ukraine to the village and do some mushroom hunting just like in the stories of his dad but guess what happened the first minutes we walked in the forest both of us walk right into the spider webs and you know it's pretty nasty feeling when you have a spider web touching your face and that brought the memories, that brought something I totally forgot when I shared my exciting emotions about finding mushrooms in the woods and looking around. I was like, oh, kiddo, sorry, I totally forgot. We need some kind of sticks to carry and constantly move them in the front of us so we'll knock down all the spider webs because they're everywhere, especially in the end of the summer. I completely, totally forgot about spider webs while sharing my great stories about mushroom hunting in Ukraine. 
And also, I completely forgot about mosquitoes. Although we were lucky, it was pretty dry this time, so there was not many mosquitoes in the forest. But then I recall, like, my goodness, sometimes, like, you want to have everything covered because if you have exposed skin, you'll have uh, 10, 15 mosquitoes on it right away. So I forgot all the bad things, but I remember all the fun things. Reason number three. I also think a lot of people, especially older folks, they just miss that feeling of being part of something great, amazing. You know, you lived in the biggest country in the world, in the very first socialist country in the world. So a lot of people were part of that fact. And they miss that now because Russia is nowhere close to the greatness of the Soviet Union. You know, 14 republics ran away and none of them came back. No one really treats Russia with respect and fear like Soviet Union was treated. So some people miss that big time. And of course, you can argue with them that, for example, yes, we sent the very first satellite into space. Soviet Union uh, sent the very first man into space. Then, 10 years later, we began manufacturing toilet paper because prior to that, we didn't have any. So the priorities were not really towards population, but a lot of people didn't care. It's more important to be first in space than have a toilet paper available because we can always use newspaper. And of course, when it comes to the size of Soviet Union and modern Russia, it's just like in the movie Shrek. Sure, it's big. But look at the location. Most of the territory that Russia has in Soviet Union, it's so far north, it's really inhabitable. Inhabitable? Sorry, I can't say that word, but it's like a Canada. You know, if you look at the map of Canada, it's pretty much, it's populated along the border, southern border was the United States, and the more north you go, it's just empty. So, not a good location, but man, it was big. And talking about greatness again, not long ago, I was watching some program from Russia, and there was a story about a small village in Siberia, and they don't really have a road connecting that village with the town where they need to go buy groceries, get their pensions and stuff. It was just, it's really like horrible path through the woods, and the only way people can do it is to ride on a tractor trailer so there's a tractor that pulls the open trailer like they usually transport hay or whatever so there's a people on the trailer and a tractor just slowly plows through this muck and rots and stuff to this closed town so the correspondent was on the trailer and he was talking to a local teacher he's older guy very smart you know intelligent and they were talking about Syria and how important for Russia to take back Crimea and how it's important to protect its interests in, as I said, Syria and other areas of the world. So the guy is like very educated, well-spoken, sitting in a trailer pulled by the tractor on this horrible road, but he cares about Syria situation. He cares about Crimea. Like he's totally oblivious about this horrible road and conditions he lives in because for him the greatness of Russia is the number one priority. Reason number four. Of course some people miss Soviet Union because they actually had great life and we already started talking about uh, that topic like Soviet taxi drivers. They were making crazy money. People who were working at different uh, warehouses, shoe warehouses, grocery warehouses, retail people, waitresses, like waiters and waitresses were making more money than engineers and scientists because they had access to goods, to foodstuffs. So you didn't have to have a good education. As long as you work at specific areas, you could make a lot of money and have a great life just because you have access, you can uh, steal maybe, or just buy it at the cost and then turn around and resell a triple price because people are so desperate to buy those uh, deficitne tavare, deficit goods. So some people miss that because now with all the supermarkets and all this abundance, they don't have that sweet spot that they can just get rich without doing much. 
Reason number five. Soviet Union was a comfortable place to be poor. They didn't pay much, as that famous saying, a lot of my viewers knew that saying, that we used to say, government makes it look like they pay us, and we make it look like we work. So, you didn't have to pay a lot for your housing. If you get housing, of course, like sometimes you had to wait for 20 years to get your own apartment, but if you got one, rent was really, really cheap. So housing costs were pretty low. A lot of groceries were subsidized heavily, like bread, some basic staples. So it was really comfortable to be poor. You didn't have to work hard. You get a little money, you spend a little money, you have enough for your cigarettes, for your vodka, to cover your basic needs. So some people miss that. It was just a great spot to be lazy and poor. And it's quite amazing, actually, when I go on some Russian forums and read people discussing, arguing, getting mad at each other. Was it great to live in the Soviet Union or was it horrible? And is it just like here in America, you know, Republicans and Democrats, there's like no middle ground. People just hate each other and they got their own bubble. So that's the same thing. There's the people we call Safkadrochere, people that just think that life in the Soviet Union was so amazing, arguing just till death with liptards that say it wasn't that good because comparing, even like they not can agree about what was the salary. It, it's amazing. So it's it's huge argument going on right now. And I said, my personal opinion, I don't miss Soviet Union. And I'm glad it collapsed in 1991 because it opened all these opportunities for me. But some people miss it and they miss it a lot. Okay, I hope you like this video. And we'll talk to you soon. До свидания. Goodbye. Hey, by the way, a cool merch for cool comrades is available at the Ushanka store at the teespring.com. And if you love my channel and would like to show your support, please click on the link below this video and become the patron of the Oshanka Show. For as little as one dollar, you can help us grow and create the new interesting videos about the life and so